and you broke your back swimming. Yeah. How please? Well, I, no, I wasn't swimming. I was playing rugby. Oh shit! <laughs> oh fuck. Welcome back, ladies and germs, to Six and Lusion with your hosts, Lusion and Six. Today we have a very special, um, incredible guest, actually. Incredibly talented, incredibly good-looking guest, and we all know him as Baby No Money, a.k.a. Baby No Moolah, a.k.a. Baby No TikTok, a.k.a. Baby No eBay. What else do you got? Baby No anything. Baby No <laughs> Why are these really surname. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You pretty much can do baby no anything, which you're you're perfect yeah, for. Yeah, it, it's pretty sick. I didn't realize that until I went to China the first time, and then they were like, "Oh, it's baby no yen, baby no yen," and I'm like, "Oh, wow. oh yo. shoot!" So yo- and then I'm like, "Yo, I'm baby no pound, baby <laughs> no euro." It's like it's any sick. state, okay. any any country you visit, yeah. you're like yeah, this is just change the currency, please. Which is funny that you bring this up already, because I'm getting the first question out of here. We're none of that chit chat, none of that small talk. You yeah. are like fluent in like Mandarin or something, right? No. Oh, that okay. Is, that is that is <laughs> that's a lie. Do you uh, speak you speak I, Mandarin a little bit though, right? Okay, so the thing that, that was interesting is I first blew up in China and it was like very, very, very coincidental because like my mom was like, either you learn French or Chinese. Mm-hmm. Those are like the two most like commonly used languages in Vancouver. Amazing. And uh, I was like, fuck French. <laughs> I failed it in high school, so I was like, fuck it. And then wow. uh, I, yeah, so I just did like Chinese and I didn't learn that much because it was like, it wasn't enough. You need to really uh, immersify yourself in it, or if that's the right word, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, and like every time I go to China, I, I find myself using it a little bit. Okay. But I haven't been to China in like three years, right? You been so, to Paris or, or anything like that? Yeah, I was actually in Paris. I don't know French nearly. I mean, I don't know Chinese that well. It's a very difficult language to master. But French, I was in Paris and just did a show there. It was great. Nice. It was, uh, it was very, like, pent-up energy, I felt. It was, like, one of the first couple of days, like, being back Ooh. after, like, COVID restrictions. COVID, and yeah. people mm-hmm. were just going fucking ape shit. So. This is crazy. I love, I love talking to mainly, like, rappers or singers about how COVID affected their touring career. Because, like, someone like me, I... I was able to like strive during lockdown because I can just like stay in my room. We can just do our thing at house. I didn't really tour or do like live yeah. shows or anything, but like, how great is that feeling again? You know, I'm still kind of jaded because mm. I, man, I had la la la. I was oh. tailing off and I had so many, so many big songs like going at once. And then I got cucked by COVID and Damn. it honestly, like it was tough. Cause I was yeah. like, damn, I finally had my first big break. Mm. And then I, yeah, I literally just got cut by COVID. Um, and it, it sucked cause, uh, you know, you obviously, if you're working something your whole life, you know, you want the best for it, obviously. Yeah, and, for sure. Uh, I, uh, you know, I'm glad to be back full stop and I'm glad Edamame happened last year, but it yeah. was like a full year that I was doing nothing with la 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 going. For you know, sure, I, like I did. I did nothing, and it was. I just felt kind of robbed. But damn, there's always time to do another one, and like yeah. that's kind of like that's the only thing I got going on me right yeah. now. Like I might as well try to have another song. Exactly. That's crazy. I don't really realize that artists can come up with a really well-known song during COVID. Right. And you're like, yeah. Well, how do we? I remember. Out? I remember hearing a, a Amine interview, and like he just dropped his recent album during lockdown, and he was like, he kind of like this undertone of like. And I'm like, yeah, like, I got the album out, but can't really, like, perform it, so, like, can't even tell oh, people wow. fuck with it. You know, like, you don't, like, really realize how that disconnect, you know? Damn. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I would, like, so, I come out to this song in my set. It, there's, it's a mix of two songs. It's like, tonight, we party, and there's this other, like, punk song I made. Wait, is that and, the la- the last song off of the Lecture yeah, album? Yeah, yeah, that song's yeah. insane. So, so it, it comes out, it's like, but it's, like, with extra lighting, and, like, it's like super dramatic and I like reproduced it myself and it's like super low synths with like epic like violins. It's like, whoa. So it's like yeah. super cheesy, corny epicness. Yeah. And then and then it goes into this song called Black Eyed Peas and <laughs> the, I was just baffled. Every single, like my in-ears weren't working so I couldn't oh, hear myself. I couldn't hear anything and I was like, oh shit, it's gonna be one of them sets 
and I jump up on stage and every single person in the crowd is singing the lyric and I'm like that's this is like the lowest po like least popular song on the yeah, album so for sure. it was really cool and I I, I you know my diehards are obviously gonna fuck with the whole discography sure. obviously and yeah. then like you know the people who aren't diehards are like just like the big hit guys but it's so interesting that I you know I've been able to uh, affect so many people yeah and, and positively affect them and it's like Dude, that, it's kind of fucked up to think about to me. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I have so many questions <laughs> literally like regarding this like umbrella of a topic. Like, let me get them straight. First one I have is like, I'm glad you brought up that song, like closing off that album because it's definitely like, you can tell you just said, fuck it, I'm just going to have fun with this song, you know. Um, you are definitely someone who can make tons of different genres and be like really good at it. Help Herself is like literally one of my favorite songs of 2021 without a doubt. And a the, song. the fact that like, I think it's fair to say, like you, tech that sound technically isn't like what you're known for. Is that fair to say, right? Right, you know. So the fact that you're able to pull that off so well is like incredible. So with that being said, like when La 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 popped off, I still kind of maybe just because like it was so fucking ginormous and you hear it everywhere, TikTok or whatever. I mean, like we we started on TikTok um, June of 2019, and that was right when that fucking shit really oh, was popping yeah, off. Oh, June seventh, yeah. dude. <laughs> June tenth, June tenth was the first TikTok wow. I ever made, man. Dude, everyone in the music biz and anyone who does music like work, I feel like musician wise, just like knows and has like incorporated or listened to or or it's super intertwined, you know? It's, it's very interesting. It's like super um it's like, dude, this line keeps on getting bigger, dude. Hold on. <laughs> oh, you're let me see this line. Yeah, dude, what kind of bike you got back there? Uh it's like a fixed gear like BMX bike that I made a while ago. Are you, uh, would you, would you say you're athletic? I used to be. Um, I ended up like breaking my back in grade 12. I, I was going to ask you about this. I heard this through the grapevine. Yeah. I'm very curious. That sounds like, that's not like, oh, I broke my arm skating or no, you broke your back swimming. Yeah. How, please. Well, I, no, I wasn't swimming. I was playing rugby. And, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. My dad, you know, my dad obviously hit me with the, the worried dad and was like, yo, don't play rugby you're gonna hurt yourself and i'm like fuck you dad i'm an adolescent little shit yeah and then i ended up hurting myself and i had to give up my swimming career and it was just kind of depressing but because you were about you, know, you were like how long were you swimming for it was about like 11 years jesus yeah. man that's yeah. insane and so, so i and i was like you know I, I pretty much had like full rides to the universities that i wanted to go and then kind of just had to throw it and then play, I just played video games, kind of. <laughs> yeah. So, it was kind. It was a. It was definitely a sad time, but uh, without that happening, I don't think I would be a musician. To That's be honest. insane. You were in high school when this happened. Yeah. Are you still like in pain? Yeah. Um. I wouldn't say I'm comfortable ever. Oh my god. It, it's it's an interesting life, I guess. I I lead. Yeah. Like doing doing shows, like I have to. Oh. Yeah, that was I have good. to wear. I have to wear like runners with my arch supports in it, type thing. Like oh, I can't. Shit, I don't. Oh, well, I'm also trying to just exclusively wear Asics shoes until they give me a sponsorship. But that's besides <laughs> the point. Um, Shout out Asics, best yeah, running I'm, shoe in the game. I'm pretty uncomfortable oh all the time, God. but it's like whatever. You know, that's like crazy. something with breaking your back is something that you really can't like physically fix. So it's yeah, like breaking a rib. Is yeah, like, yeah, like, like I mean, because I mean, nothing close to a breaking back level, but she's had fucked up back problems like her whole life. And oh, I fell uh, on my back. I hurt really bad. Yeah, like really bad when she was young. You got fucking scoliosis, like crazy. Oh. And so I mean, I can only imagine because I see the shit she got. She has to go through on the daily. I mean, I can only imagine that level, especially torn and jumping on a fucking wooden stage and shit. Yeah, it, it's interesting because like I view, I look at all my friends and they don't have any pain, and I'm like, man. Fuck you guys. And I was hanging out with my videographer, Sherez. He just had a kid. And I was just like observing his kid. <laughs> boy and or girl? Do, they, do you have a boy or girl? He's got a boy. Little, little baby boy. Little he's baby like boy. almost a year. He's real cute. Um, <laughs> and he had all these toys and there's so much shit on the ground. <laughs> and like he just didn't stop. Mm. There was he never had a moment of of of, of just observing and relaxing, and it was just like 
no hesitation, just grabbing in the next toy and then moving and then grabbing the next toy. But like Damn. us as humans, like we are programmed to from the day one to learn and like work. That's yeah. all. And like, that's, that's it. And I, I don't know where that gene came from or where that like thought process and like weird meticulous desire came from, but yeah. it's very interesting because I, I, it really spoke to me just watching this kid do absolutely nothing, but trying to Figure. get himself busy. Yeah, for and sure. Super interesting. I, uh, wow. yeah, I was like, this is like the most like primitive, like baby thing I've ever seen, but it speaks yeah. so loudly to me because I'm like, I'm in the same boat. When I'm doing nothing, I'm just like, shit, I should be doing something.